up, YouTube? It's Zabdix TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We are very, very, very close of reaching 50,000 subscribers, so uh, I want to already thank everyone uh, that is watching the daily uploads. With that being said, if you're enjoying the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. And uh, today, we're actually checking out the first place winning Lugia list from the... Uh, first tournament over on play.limitlistcg.com, the Ditto Forces number one, and uh, Lugia was able to win. Big shout out to TRTS101, being able to uh, take down the entire tournament, and uh, we're going to be seeing if uh, Lugia is actually way better now with the help of Chinchino. Chinchino is a new card from Temporal Forces, slapping 70 damage for each special energy card attached to this Pokemon. So, uh, with the help of the Archeops and the Primal Turbo ability and the manual attachment of the turn, you can actually slap 350 damage on a single turn with Chinchino, which is insane. The good news is that, uh, yeah, uh, something like the Professor Burnett is uh, rotated, otherwise Lugia would be like brokenly tier S because it's just that powerful. With Summoning Star, you can uh, put two Carless Pokemon instantly onto your bench and that's going to be the two copies of Archeops that you want to be slapping down on the bench. You also have one copy of a Snorlax, which is actually pretty great, one prize attacker with 150 HP. And the way we're going to be uh, putting these cards in the discard piles with uh, using Luminion Jock and then using Ultra Ball, or just to use Ultra Ball on Archeops and then go for something like a Professor's Research to put the rest in the discard pile as well. Serena in here is very great to discard uh, cards from hand, so you don't have to discard all your uh, uh, your entire hand that means you can save on to something like the energies that you really desperately want and uh, With the help of master ball the ace pack card of choice you have a little bit more consistency to find Your Archeops so you can discard them and then uh, activate summoning star by turn two That's the ideal plan here. What else do we have in this deck a bunch of special energies? We have four copies of jet energy allowing you to uh, fly yourself to the active position very great there's four gift energy allowing you to draw cards if you get knocked out up to seven which is very great actually is uh, you draw cards until you have seven in hand so that's actually super nice to protect yourself from something like iono or judge there's a therapeutic energy making sure that the snorlax unfaced fella does not fall asleep after its stumping snore attack v guard energy protecting our uh, lugia for uh, some extra uh, buff with their defense and that's going to help out to uh, survive and then there's mist energy allowing you to uh, yeah, survive stuff like uh, Star Requiem from a Giratina V Star or something like the Frangent Gouging from a Roaring Moon EX. So, uh, yeah, it's time for some Lugia action if you guys uh, are uh, enjoying the content I'm pushing every single day. Uh, also, feel free to check out the sponsors for today's video. There is DragonShield.com. For your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes, you can use the coupon ZABLUS5 for 5% off. There's yourplaymat.com for your uh, creating your own custom playmat from scratch. You can get 10% off using the coupon tcg 10 yp uh, or click on the link down below. There's pokedownstore.com for your TCG Live code card needs. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, you can use the coupon tcg for 5% off. And cardmarket.com helps you out if you are a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. With that being said, we were having the option to go first, uh, which is actually something we did here. So um, currently we have two Archeops in hand, but no way to discard them. And looks like the opponent is also playing Lugia. In a Lugia mirror match, I think the first person that gets an attack of or takes prize cards typically wins. And that's pretty much what it's going to be. So uh, we have Jacques. Uh, currently, that's actually kind of interesting. We don't have a way to discard these Archeops that are currently in hand. We have a Professor's Research. That's kind of broken. Uh, Lugia is not able to do a lot here. I'm going to be putting Mist Energy because we can save the Jet Energies for later. I'll just put an Energy under the Lugia and then next turn we just research that entire hand and uh, summon, uh, use Summoning Star if we find Lugia V-Star. We just attach pass. It's uh, seemingly bad if you're up against something like uh, uh, a Roaring Moon EX that can attack turn 1. But most decks in the format do not attack turn 1. Charizard needs to evolve. Chimpao needs to get the back Scalibers out. So on turn 1, you're pretty much safe. Meaning that Lugia is there. Uh, something like a Turbo Loss on Box could uh, actually attack with something like a Raikou V with a full ban and all that good stuff. But that doesn't happen a lot. Okay, they have Research. They've already thrown away one Archeops. Actually, now that I think about it, they did throw away two of them. Will they find a Lugia? That's the question. If, they not find, if they're not finding Lugia here, they might actually be in a very bad uh, situation. There is a tail, so Lugia V will definitely come from the deck. And this is going to be an exact mirror match here going back and forth. The good news is uh, we can actually just go for Research and uh, hopefully find a Lugia V-Star. 
That's all we are looking for currently. I'll just put the gift energy here because I plan to attack with Lugia. And then I'll go for research here. Get rid of all these resources. The only thing I'm needing is a Lugia V-Star. There is Lugia V-Star, all right. We have this. Now we go for the summoning star. We're going to be summoning both Archeops from that discard pile instantly onto the bench. And now, uh, typically, I would love to find uh, a Minchino here. Uh, there's a Tails. That's perfect. I'll get that Minchino right away. Minchino is going to be very great because if we get Chinchino out, we still have Master Ball in hand. Uh, we can actually do a lot of great things. For now, I'll also go for capturing Aroma again, sure. Let's just take them while they're fresh. It's another Tails, that's nice. I'll get myself another Minchino. How many Chinchinos do we have, actually? Two of them. That's gonna be enough to uh, last ourselves through the game. We have two bosses orders, uh, also with Serena. Uh, Serena, actually Serena could help to gust up that Lugia if need be. And then for energy amount, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be enough. Slap this down, we could collapse already, making sure the opponent, ah, uh, sure, we could, I don't know if I want to slap down collapse here, we could technically, because we have our entire setup going around, so let's just go for primal turbo, get that double turbo energy, I wonder if they're going to be able to get a Chinchino out, if not, we can actually collapse away our Lugia V-Star, which actually is a very great thing. I'll go for a double turbo energy on the Lugia here, so it can attack. And then on the other hand, we're also going to be going for Primal Turbo. And we're going to be getting a Gift as well as a Mist Energy, I suppose. Are we putting that already on one of the Min uh, Minchinos here. So that's going to be very great. We could Great Ball. We have a Chinchino, so that's something we're instantly getting. I'm going to wait with this Master Ball, by the way. Just going to slap. I'll save the Collapse as well. Let's just KO the Snorlax and be done with it. Okay, we have the first attack off. Typically, the, their gift energy activates, but that's fine. We will then KO the Lugia with our Chinchino. And uh, yeah, evolving those chinchi two Chinchinos is going to be kind of ridiculous. And uh, prize race, we probably will win. Because unless they can collapse away their Lugia, which I think is not possible. They're now going to attack with Chinchino. That's fine, I suppose. We can attack with our Chinchino. And then slap down Snorlax. We could also slap down Snorlax if we uh, do draw into um, a Jet Energy. I, I purposely are not equipping the Jet Energies quite yet. Another Primal Turbo coming along. We do not have, don't have Bosses Auras quite yet. The cool new thing is that if we slap down Collapse Stadium proactively, they will not be able to use their Collapse Stadium. Meaning, or actually now that I think about it, we can also use Master Ball to get something like uh, Luminion. And then Luminion can use Ball. Oh, they have another Luminion of their own. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I think in this situation, I think I will go for Master Ball, Luminion, Luminion, Bosses, Orders. And then we will target down Lugia and we will win the prize race. There's no other way. The special roll here, eating up our Lugia. So this is the Lugia mirror match. Okay, we get more stuff. Not that I need it. It is fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Like, look at all this stuff. All this stuff that I don't actually need. We have Chinchino here. We have Chinchino there. We could technically go after Lugia, but then the, the prize race will be pretty bad. We could wait with this. If they collapse this, it's going to be a very bad situation. We can collapse already proactively. Doesn't seem to be like a big issue here. Proactively slapping down collapsed. Going for the Master Ball. Getting ourselves maybe another Chinchino. Do we get another Chinchino? I think Snorlax is also not too bad of an option here. I don't think so. Snorlax is not too bad of an option here to slap that down on the field. Yeah, sure. Get this one down. 
going for a, this already is slapping enough damage to knock out this Chinchino, so I will actually go for Primal Turbo. And I will get a Gift and a Mist Energy onto the other Chinchino. Now we can set it up in an additional turn. Put the double turbo energy. Although, now that I think about it, if he slaps down Luminion, Snorax can go after it. So I'll put a gift energy on here. Primal turbo again. At one point, yeah, there's only two energies left. So I will not accelerate more energies here. We will need them to knock out Lugia there. Special roll activation. Shazam. Okay. We will eventually upgrade. Collapse is already down, which is a cool thing now that Lugia uh, cannot get removed from play. We just need to boss that up, knock it out with Chinchino, and then go from there. Okay, if we knock that out, we can take two prize cards with that. And then Chinchino, uh, actually Snorax can do some stuff as well as Archeops, now that I think about it. Maybe we should also slap down another, maybe another Minchino here. It all depends on if we are able to find... Also, energy uh, droplets will be really important here in this mirror match. Proactively slap and down collapse, make sure that Luya is not going anywhere, which is great. Special roll, they activate the gift energy. We draw three cards. There is uh, no boss's orders, but that's totally fine. We definitely... <sighs> Could Luminion boss, but then they could boss our Luminion up, which is very, very bad. We could Iono here. Iono is actually not a bad card to be using here, to be honest. I will go for... Yeah, this is actually very great. I'll slap this down. Put the double turbo over here. Then... I will wait with this Archeops. We have enough stuff to last, so I can Ultra Ball the stuff that I don't need. At least Archeops, put them in the discard pile. Put something like Lugia V-Star on the bottom of the deck as well. Two Luminion in the deck, by the way, which is super great. We could research, but the, bre the, the better out... Yeah, they have Gift Energy. They have Gift Energy, so I will, I will save this energy here. But we still do not have Boss's Orders, and we probably will need it ASAP. So maybe an Iono here is actually not too bad. Iono to treat cards. Yeah, we do have a jet and another Ultra Ball here. If they go after this one, it's gonna be pretty difficult. If they knock out this Chinchino, it's gonna be difficult to knock out this Lugia, by the way. We're gonna go for Primal Turbo, see what we are dealing with. We still have one, two, three energies, and then an energy of turn. Four. That's enough to knock out the Lugia, by the way, so we need to save all these energies. I'm just gonna slap here. We could Ultra Ball because I don't... Yeah, we have Serena here for Boss's Ors, which is great. I'm just gonna go for the Thumping Snore, knocking out the Chinchino. Let's go. Another energy, very great to pull from those prize cards. And now we just need to Serena up the Lugia. We also are awake, which is hilarious. <laughs> the opponent really likes that. Sure, uh, we are awake. So our game plan will become knocking out Lugia V. Okay, they're actually evolving to another Chinchino. How many energies do they have in the discard pile? They're going to boss up this Chinchino, which I predicted. There's three energies in the deck. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be uh, promoting Snorlax first. Then equipping to Chinchino, to energy to Chinchino, use the Ultra Ball, and then go from there. There's a special roll again. Boom! Gift energy it does activate way too many energies here, to be honest. Way too many energies. Yeah, these energies in hand are very bad. Let's be honest. We have the Snorlax. There is a boss's orders, but is it going to be what we need? Currently, um, 
Pokemon here. There's two Minchinos. We could technically... How many energies in here? Nine. That's a lot. They could still attack with Lugia at one point. They could also go after an Archeops. How many bosses are in the discard pile? Two. Okay. We could technically boss up an Archeops. Knock that out. I'll go Great Ball first. There's Luminion. There is Luminion. Two energies right there. There's so many stuff over here. Like, the Archaeopsis are not going to be able to deal with Snorlax, so they will have to attack with Lugia, making sure we now need... I will Ultra Ball, get rid of this. Iono is definitely necessary, I'll get rid of this. Maybe I'll get rid of this instead. Yeah. And then I will get a Minchino. Yeah, there's two energies left in deck. That's like the pretty crazy thing about this. We do have Iono. Two energies left in deck. So I will need to attach to one of these fellas. Yeah, we could Iono as well and then accelerate. But this is fine, right? We have the gift energy. They could gust this guy up, but then they lose, probably. Hopefully. Uh, Stumping Snort, let's go. We have an energy. Now they either need to attack with Lugia. It's another energy. So we have enough energies to uh, knock out Lugia. But we need to, like, boss it up. That's the issue here, right? Maybe I should have put a gift on Minchino. Do they have another boss? They could have Luminion boss, right? But if they go for Luminion boss, we can actually just boss up the Luminion. They don't know what we have, right? Luminion boss Minchino is an option. There is a Luminion. That means we, we, we need less. Do they have enough energies though? 11 energies. Four gifts played. Three gifts, right? Yeah. We don't have any gifts left. So they could go after the Mancino with one energy, but then. What are they gonna do? Aluminium boss Mancino? But then we could just. Yeah. That's something, right? Because we can technically. Get that double turbo energy from the Snorlax by manually retreating and then using Primal Turbo to then reactivate the Thumping Snore. Okay, they're gonna go for Lugia and they go for the Iono instead, which is something I really loved here because now we can just knock it out with Chinchino if we are able to find it. We currently do not. And they're gonna go for Primal Turbo and just knock out the Snorlax. We draw five cards and then the draw of the turn. And if there is a Chinchino somewhere in the deck, or an Ultra Ball, we can knock out the Lugia. Wow, this is a, an interesting mirror match, for sure. Gift Energy activates. We have the Ultra Ball. It is game, set, and match. Man, energy counts are really important here. Luckily, I already proactively slapped down the Collapsed. Okay, so uh, Primal Turbo. One, two, Energies. One, two. A Jet Energy of the turn. An Ultra Ball coming down for these little fellas. Getting the last Chinchino at the bunch. Let's go. And that's a very clean played mirror match where Chinchino just slaughters the Lugia for two prize cards. And we finally uptrade. So uh, Lugia mirror matches, they're kind of funky. But we both had like uh, all the Archeops in the discard pile on the second turn. And uh, with the Lugia V-Star shenanigans. So that was pretty damn interesting. I think most Lugia matches go like this and they still could have won if you just go after the Chinchino and then your Lugia is not getting knocked out because the only thing that can knock out Lugia is Chinchino. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, looks like Lugia is totally back in the format. I actually rated it only tier 2 because in real life I have been breaking with it like crazy. But I could understand just 
putting in like a classic tier 1 deck because it doesn't seem to be having that many terrible matchups. And as long as you can get uh, your strategy going with two Archeops and a Discard Pile turn 1 or turn 2 and getting the Lugia V-Star out turn 2, uh, you're actually going to be having uh, a lot of win percentages against a lot of decks in the format. Also, uh, Path to the Peak has rotated, so Summoning Star is not being able to get stopped, which is insane. Okay, the opponent will go first. Uh, we actually have access to Call for Family with Minchino or Read the Wind. And it's going to be the, the classic Luminion start. And that means we will have to find Collapse at one point. Okay. Starting with Luminion is very bad. Earth and Vessel. Okay, it's Gardevoir. What can Gardevoir do against Lugia? We could technically go... Yeah, they just have a, a little fella over there. Okay, what I typically want to be doing here, uh, we could get a Minchino thrown up in the mix, but it can actually get knocked out by Ghost Eye, which is <laughs> kind of annoying. Um, yeah, Ultra Ball, I'll get rid of this. I don't want to use Iona when they have a, a very terrible hand, but I also don't want to lose these energies. So what I'll be doing here is I'm actually going to get rid of a Chinchino and I will get rid of... I'll get rid of the Serena. I think I'll have to go for this. They will be up one prize if they go with that. They can actually knock us out with the fella. But then we can get our setup going. On the other hand, there's four of these. Should we just go for Read the Wind? I don't think they're gonna damage our Lugia, right? Read the Wind is probably not too bad. I don't want to lose the prize card, so I'm actually going to slap this down. Going to Jet Energy, the Lugia all the way to the active position. I will Iono hopefully draw into some Archeops that I can discard with Read the Wind. We do not have anything. Capturing Aroma, it's going to have to do the trick. It is ahead, luckily. So let's take one uh, of the Archeops and then go for that classic Read the Wind. Situation. I'm not gonna stop down Snorlax because I don't know how much bench space I will need. And this hand is actually not too great either, so. <laughs> not great either. We have a huge hand, so hopefully they Iono us. Looks like we're up against Mimikyu. Mimikyu we can actually knock out with Snorlax nice and easily. They have a vessel. We get rid of more energies. Uh, they will need to find some Ralts here ASAP or uh, they will definitely lose. Attachment and going on to the Mimikyu. They have a Drift Loon as well. Looks like Gardevoir's not seeing its best performance right here. And the Ghost Eye for 70 damage. Sure. I cannot discard all these energies. I cannot do it. Should I? Zero energies in the discard pile, I guess. I guess we just go Snorlax here. Minchino here. Yeah. Then double turbo energy there. Then we retreat and... Just find Lugia V-Star, something, something. I'm gonna have to go for the big old classic research. Yeah, it's very bad to do that, but yeah, I'm happy this happens here because now we can just go Ultra Ball, get rid of this, get rid of that. Finding ourselves Lugia V-Star. There we go. We use the Summoning Star ability, summoning two of the Archeops right there. One, two. Sometimes you will have games where you can only summon one, but that's just what it is. Now we go for the Primal Turbo, getting the double turbo energy and the therapeutic energy. And also want to check real quick if there's a Collapse Stadium in here. It, uh, there is not. <laughs> that's going to be pretty tricky. Uh, this for you. It's for you. We need to get find the Collapse from the prize cards. Sure. Retreat. This. The double turbo energy goes away. And uh, the funky fact is, we have 210 HP, but you will need to put some energies in play. And the reason for that is that uh, when they get out uh, at this point, we don't have to do it. And the reason for that is they don't have any rolls or whatever in play. But if they would have rolls in play, uh, actually would just accelerate so proactively with uh, the Primal Turbo, just because of the fact they can Scream Tail Archaeopsis, which is very nasty. Nope. Collapse from the prizes, unfortunately. Drift Loon against the world. 
There's a Cresselia, all right. And Balthazar is gonna trap down Luminion, okay, sure. Man, their hand is like so, so bad. We could try and research to find jets. Nah. We will Jacques get Gingino. That's all we need. Gingino here. We attach. We retreat. Go for this guy. And we could tin the deck, I suppose, but it's fine. Thumping Snore! Boom! What now? And uh, because of therapeutic energy, Snorlax just is not falling asleep anytime soon. No collapse, but we do get energies, that's fine. Yeah, will they find something to win themselves the game? There's a, a Manaphy, an attachment, and that's about it. Yeah, they just can see, there's, there's just... Gardevoir has lost a lot of consistency, let's be honest. They lost Level Ball. They lost Battle VIP Pass. They've lost Fog Crystal. They've lost uh, Mew from Celebrations. They've lost Shining Arcana Gardevoir. So they've lost like half of their deck. And most importantly, the consistency cards are, yeah, totally gone now. Meaning that I think Gardevoir does have like some merit to it, but it's still, I probably wouldn't play it. With that being said, Lugia is just dominating the rank ladder and not having to do like too much to just get some dubs here. Just getting the Archeops out and that's about it. People have also been testing out the idea of using Pokestop in combination with uh, the Codebreaker. Uh, that's a new card allowing you to put two cards on top of the deck and then you just go for Pokestop. Just put two Archeops on top, then go Pokestop and then you have them in a the discard pile uh, because you can fetch it out with Luminion. Jacques is a little bit more YOLO behavior and I still keep on starting with Luminion. I, I, I have no idea why this happens. I think this list is running two copies of Luminion, so that's about it. Okay, we're up against an Arceus deck. Love to see it. Um, capturing Aroma. Can we find Lugia? If we need to have a Tails. Uh, yeah, luckily we have a Tails. Otherwise, we would have not been able to play the game. So Lugia is here. Also, we will need to get them in a discard pile, right? There's collapsed enough energies to last us through the game. And two Archeops right there. And an additional Luminion. Slapping this down, going for the gift energy. I'm not gonna put the double turbo energy on here, but there is some highly probability if we drop back like Ultra Ball or Research that we can technically get Lugia V Star in play. And then we can slap 220 damage against an Arceus V. Problem is, we now actually have. Yeah, Luminion as the start, which is very bad. We can Jacques find Lugia V Star and Archeops and then go for Read the Wind, but I don't know. Okay, it's Vulpix. Yeah, Vulpix cannot do anything against Chinchinos. So our main strategy will be using Chinchinos here. There's a double throw, but they can Trinity Charge. That's huge. Okay. Not good. Well, with the double turbo energy, they will not be able to KO our Lugia, right? We have Great Ball. An Archeops again. Actually, Luminion. Interesting. But if they have like balls, balls, balls situations going around, that's pretty bad. If we get like Luminion right now and then go for a big research, can we do something? Okay, let's go Luminion. And we go for the good old classic Professor's Research. And I'm not gonna put the double turbo because I could technically draw into Lugia V-Star and a Jet Energy. We could also attach Retreat, but yeah, that's gonna be the power here. No Jet Energies. We do have two Minchinos though. It's actually not too bad. Uh, we could attach Retreat and go for... We have one Archeops, that's just so bad. And we have like two Luminions in play, that's just... We could Lugia give it a little slap. But having only one Archeops is not gonna help. It is not gonna help. We do have another Archeops right there. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to play the slow game, I suppose. So we attach here. We retreat. Go with Lugia. Slap down a Mancino. Go for Read the Wind. And then discard Archeops. Let's go. Okay, we have Lugia. We can play the game. If... Yeah, the opponent could still take a lot of prize cards with, with all these annoying Luminions on my field. Double Arceus V-Star. If I were him, I would boss up Luminion. And then you're already two prize cards in the prize race. We could also target down the little Vulpix. Because if they go for Luminion, we can just boss uh, Alolan Vulpix V. We could also have like Maximum Belt by their side and then knock out our Lugia. And then we... Oh, they have Prime Catcher. Sure. Prime Catcher, they go after Minchinos. That's fine. They instantly go for Snow Mirage here. That's kind of tricky. But the cool thing is that now um, we can actually use Lugia to boss around these shenanigans. Okay, we have Master Ball as well. So we have Lugia V-Star finally appearing to Archeops in the discard pile. So let's... Well, if we only have one of these every single time, that's going to be bad. So I will go for Summoning Star. One, two. Slap these down. We will... Snorlax can also prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent done to this Pokemon. Okay, that's not gonna help. Snow Barrage is kind of annoying. We're gonna have to boss up this guy. I wonder if they will have another boss here. If they have another boss, our Minchino could actually be in some huge trouble. But we have more Minchinos where those came from, so I will slap down just one of them. And then next turn we try to do it again with the Master Ball. Primal Turbo. We get ourselves. At this point, we could get just double turbo energy. And what does the Lugia have? Okay, we can get the V-Guard energy on there. That's also pretty funky. Double turbo and V-Guard. And we could already put an energy here. Maybe like a gift. Yeah, maybe like a gift energy. One, two, three. Now you have so many energies here. But having one gift onto the Minchino here could help protect yourself. They can also try and target this guy down. That's why. Uh, here we go. Tempest Dive. Getting rid of one Vulpix. Let's go. What do we have? Two prize cards. Okay, we have Ultra Ball, we have Capturing Aroma. So if they boss up Minchino again, we will not be able to touch Alolan Vulpix whatsoever. They will need a tree shot though. Okay, they have another boss. What are they doing with all these boss? Yeah, I should probably not put an energy on the Minchino now in hand sight. Okay. This guy only slaps 160 damage. That's kind of funky. So I'll put Luminion up front. Also, this guy is gonna get tree-shotted because of the V-Guard energy. That's actually not bad. I'll put Lu Lugia up front. It's fine. Double turbo. Okay. Master Ball. Minchino. There's our last Minchino, by the way. If they don't, if they have boss again, it's gonna be pretty damn tricky. But now we have to go all in, right? We have to go all in. Gifts. Mist. This, this, all the rest of our Pokemon have abilities, so Snow Mirage, kind of annoying. How many bosses orders do we have? Uh, I'll Ultra Ball this and this away. Also, Lugia can attack it, by the way. Yeah, Lugia can attack it, sure. Sure, I'll just take nothing. I'll Next time, I'll actually slap down Lugia here. Uh, Tempest Dive for nothing. Let's go! Tempest Dive for nothing. The Snow Mirage protects it. Okay, no boss. You've already played boss. You've already played Prime Catcher. You already used your V-Star. Six cards in hand. No boss. Stop using boss's orders, mate. 
if uh, our push comes to shove, we actually slap Aero Dive 130. Okay, they're gonna swing with the Arceus V Star. Perfect. Okay, our Chinchino goes back into the deck. That's fine. Chinchino is here once more. And we technically have 130, that's pretty much nothing. Uh, we still have Serena, Serena, right? Serena and Boss. So we just could explode on this guy. We have a Chinchino here. Yeah. And we could take another Minchino from the prize cards, by the way. And just blow this guy up and then attack something. And then they could have Chair and Scare, right? That's the issue. They already have two energies here. Maybe they don't have an energy. Maybe they cannot use Snow Barrage. Should we go attack this Arceus already with our Lugia and take the risk? This guy's gonna get knocked out, I'm sure of it. But if we attack with Chinchino right now, we could trap, th trap this one. I'm gonna try some. Don't try this at home, mates. I'll put this here. I will Archeops. I know I'm giving up Chinchino, but they might not have an energy. I will put this on the Chinchino. There we go. I'll put this on the Chinchino. We still have another Lugia V that can actually knock out these annoying Vulpixes, so I'm actually fine with this. Great Ball. Could get the Lugia, but we still have Ultra Ball in hand, so I'm actually gonna take nothing. They're gonna deal with this Chinchino. We're gonna have a huge hand. Special roll, boom. So either way, uh, we could boss, boss Arceus, but that's a little bit tricky because they might have Chair and Scare. Or there's a Minchino, that's perfect, okay. I'm gonna go for the Serena method. I'm gonna slap down Minchino. I'm gonna Serena the Arceus, and I'm gonna attack the Arceus. Put the Minchino down. They do have an energy. Four cards in hand. If they have a boss, that's kind of annoying. So maybe the better plan will be attacking with Lugia V. What is this? 70 damage for each of the opponent's V Pokemon in play. One, two, three, five. Uh, they could technically knock us out with that strategy. Noibat? They're going for a reason. Okay. At this point, I'm afraid they do have boss's orders in hand. As well, nothing. They could share and scare. We could attack with Lugia V. And do it again, do it twice. More energies. What are the odds of them having chair and scare in hand, right? So, eight energies, 10 energies. Interesting, right? Um, we already used, uh, we could Iono. Slap this down, Iono. Then they don't have boss. Maybe that's actually not a bad idea, but then we're actually not doing anything. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna check real quick. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, we do have Lugia. And we have another Balsasaurus in the deck as well. And four Jet Energies. So technically, we cannot attack twice with the Lugia. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go for the boss strategy here, right? They cannot boss and Chair and Scare in the same turn. So we actually get out Chinchino. Slap down this guy. If they boss, they're gonna go after Minchino. There's no other way. There's no other way. We Serena boss. Yeah. Give the double turbo energy to this guy. We can primal turbo. We have four jet energies. That's all we need to knock you out. But if we draw into an energy, that would be super silly. This is our last bat, by the way. But if they knock out Lugia, we can actually attack with uh, a Lugia V with all these energies. But we need to find boss's orders as well. We don't have gift energy. So maybe it is not bad to just put one energy on the fella over here. Yeah. Okay. Tempest Dive. 
They cannot chair and scare and boss at the same turn, so it's uh, some sort of a checkmate situation we can attach and use Primal Turbo. Or they have DTE in hand and they have boss in hand and they go after Mint, you know, and then we are in a situation where we need to find boss before they find Sharon's Scare. Damn. But we were gonna we're gonna Iono them, so whatever happens, uh, this is a, a great plan. They also are playing Neuvern. Arceus V. Double turbo energy. Will they have boss? Will they have boss? We don't have that much to attack with. Um, although uh, Archaeops can also one shot at this point the Arceus V Sar. Will they have boss? Show me the boss. Or not. Show me the boss or not. They need a loss. They have counter catcher. They have literally everything that I was afraid of. Now chair and scare on top of that. That would be like the crazy stuff. Sure. Okay, now our win condition becomes uh, 160 damage. That's kind of scary. I'm going to be promoting this and I'm going to try to find try to find our boss resorts, right? That's what we need to find. At this point, we primal turbo Yeah, we have Primal Turbo. They might have some more bosses or but we need to find, we need to make sure our chances are maximized. Our chances are maximized uh, to find bosses or Yeah, we need to maximize these chances. Go with this. Ultra Ball gets the Snorlax. I could have attacked, I cannot attack with Lugia anymore, so I'll just take the Snorlax here. They can also trap the Snorlax, which is kind of scary. Whatever, I'll put the Chinchino here. If they have balls, they win. And uh, here we go for Iono time. Come on, we need boss. There's the boss. Sure, they can knock this out if they want to, but we will then boss them up and win the game. No chair and scare for you. If that happens, that's crazy. Dura scenario! Well played, well played. My Iono failed. There's no way I can deal with the snow mirage. So uh, you do see the power of the Alolan Vulpix right there. There's nothing that can phase this fella. Um, yeah. We don't even have energies enough, so that's a concession for me. Well played, opponent. That went really crazy. Iono drawing them into the Turo, helping them out in this game. So, super cool to see that Vulpix finally sees some niche play in a format like this. I, I, it does make a little bit of sense where um, stuff like the escape rope has rotated. But it looks like a very solid. They have Neuvern for specific matchups, and then they have Alolan Vulpix for other matchups. Interesting. We're gonna be playing one more game with Lugia V Star. It has gone pretty okay. It has gone pretty okay. Now, with us starting with Luminion, they could also um, do a lot of stuff right there. Yeah, maybe I should have gone attack with the Lugia V. Would have that been better? Maybe? I was so close of winning though, so... They just had the Turo. 20 card deck, Iono to 3, get the Turo. I don't even know how many Turos they're playing, but that was kind of lucky on their part as well. Okay, the opponent will go first. Let's see if Lugia can win another battle. Finally, we are actually starting with not Luminion. Hooray! Looks like Gardevoir is back for some more. We got two Mulligan. Uh, okay, can Gardevoir win against Lugia? Take two Mulligans. Actually, pretty bad Mulligans, I might add. Uh, opponent will go first. I probably will just put a double turbo on Lugia. 
and then Iono. <laughs> they still have nothing again. Like what? What is this? I could Great Ball, and we find Lugia V Star. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Lugia V Star because I really want to draw into Arceus. Arceus. Double Turbo here. Classic Iono. I, I don't want to Iono them in this situation, but maybe they have Arvids in hand. Let's go. One Archeops, that's great. Here we go. Read the wind. And boom! We have a little bit of an opportunity. We could also just put a double turbo en energy onto Lugia and start swinging with that. That's actually not too bad, to be honest. We don't actually need Archeops quite yet. Uh, Greninja shows up. Rolls. Rolls. And energy going to the Drifloon. Heavy Ball. And an Iono. Okay. I Iono, I don't care about this. We had a double turbo, though. That would have been interesting, but Lugia V-Star. <laughs> no way. Okay, I hope the Great Ball can fetch us Luminion. I don't want to have Luminion up in play, but... Yeah, I just got, like, iono out of the game. That's crazy. But they don't have Gardevoir EX quite yet, though. Uh, great Ball. We have Lugia V-Star. But swinging with only one Archeops. I don't know how to feel about that. We can already... <sighs> At this point, should we wait and get two Archeops out? Or do we already swing here? Maybe I could just go... How many energies in this car pal? One. They need rare candy. Yeah? They don't. They could have candy with Arvin. That's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. I'm gonna slap down Minchino. I'm gonna slap down Minchino. Should we go for Lu only getting out one Archeops? That's just spelling out bad news against Screamtail shenanigans. I think. But they only have. They could. I don't believe they're gonna have everything. Let's just have some patience. Could have used boss as well, I suppose. Yeah. I want to get two Archeops out because I know how this goes. Ultra Ball and TM. Okay, they're gonna go TM Evo. TM Evo is okay if they do that. They can also get Guard or EX instantly. To oh dang, Curlia. Okay, that's no Guard or EX quite yet. They could run away with this game. Maybe I should have gone for going with one Archeops. Refinement. But it looks like they go for the TM Evo route. Yeah, TM Evolution. That's great. I'm actually going to go after Curlia right now. I'm going to slap the Curlia. Get two Archeops out. I think that's the better uh, answer in this situation. All right, Lugia V Star, going for Summoning Star. Sometimes you have to have some patience, mates. Summoning Star here. One, two. We're gonna boss up Curlia. We have the Chinchinos here. We can already attack with a Chinchino, but I'm gonna leave the Chinchinos to knock out Guard for EXs, right? How many energies do they have in the discard pile? Four. Can they actually knock us out? Go with this as well. I could technically just attack with Chinchino. That means they need boss as well. There we go. Then we're going for a primal turbo. For a gift energy. Yeah. That's what we want. It's a gift energy. Maybe I should have put more energies on here. Now that I think about it. Because it can't scream tail. I could also set up another Chinchino I suppose. Uh, gift energy. Mist energy. Okay. Off to the races. Special roll attack. 
If they're touching Archinginos, they actually... Yeah, we have another gift. Okay, fine. We, if we draw cards, could get Chinchino and Balls. And then we can knock out a Guard for EX. Be ahead in the price trade. Energies are super important in a matchup like this. They could go for Screamtail knocking out Archeops. I think that's their best bet, I suppose. But if we can get enough attackers up and ready to go, it shouldn't matter too much. This is an interesting approach. Could have attacked with Lugia, but currently they have like so many energies in the discard pile already. It looks scary. Maybe they have counter catch with Lugia and then gonna blast the Drifloon. We don't have vacuum. They do have Gardevoir EX. We can knock that out with a Chinchino and boss. Can we find that? They're gonna go for Screamtail. I see where this is going. They're gonna knock out the Archaeopsis here, so we cannot respond. Funky fact is that we can also KO with Pound. Can They can uptrade at one point. Maybe I should go just focus on using all one prizers. We have two bosses orders left. That's gonna be such a drag. Say goodbye, Archaeops, the weakness of Lugia. I'm actually gonna slap with the Pound. I'm gonna put a Jet Energy on Minchino and Pound the Screamtail. They have an Arvin as well. I'm gonna lose an Archaeops here, that's kinda scary. Could overload another Minchino with energies. Yeah, say goodbye, Archaeops. We're gonna have to put a, a gift energy onto the other Archaeops so we can draw cards. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay, I think we can Ultra Ball Luminion Boss Guardi. Do we have Collapse in here? Yeah, we have Collapse in here, that's fine. Yeah, our last boss, by the way. This guy. Then, Primal Turbo. Mist energy. Do we need double turbos? Yeah, they could be useful. V guard. Here we go. Say goodbye to Guardi EX. Boom. They could scream tail Archaeops again, but we have enough attackers to win the game at this moment. Definitely need to find another boss from the prizes, though. If they go after Archaeops, the Chinchino survives again, so... There's that. We need three prize cards. Definitely need that last boss from the prizes. Is this list actually playing... It is playing three bosses or so we definitely need that last boss from the prizes. Another Curlia. So it looks like uh, Gardevoir is uh, still not done. We were one turn behind from using Archaeopsis in the first place. We have Luminion up in play. Counter Catcher. Luminion. Screamtail. Iono. What are they gonna scream tail? They're gonna roaring scream Archaeops, right? We do have a lot of jet energy still left in the deck, so we're gonna have to play without Archaeopsis anymore. That's fine. Um, 
Fine, but tricky, though. Ultra Ball, get rid of this, get rid of this. Get Chinchino, number two. And then go for research. Okay, we have a jet energy. So, we can jet energy here. Fly ourselves at the active position, KO it with Pound. And we could find, there's an Archeops that we don't need. Capturing Aroma. It is the heads that we don't need. Take the Lugia V-Star. Ultra Ball. Get this, get this. Find Snorlax. And collapse away the Luminion. Let's go. And Pound! Mingino, attack! Alright, so... We are in a situation. <laughs> we have the double throw, that's nice. Uh, Lugia can retreat if need be. Snorlax is still there though. Uh, I had to use it for the collapse situation. So I, I could see them counter capturing Snorlax and then using Screamtail. They did already use a, a counter catcher already though. But then we just attach a double turbo. But yeah, that could be their game plan right now. I, I wanted that Luminion out of play because otherwise they go 2 2 and we lose. Yeah. Arvin, counter catcher, counter catcher, Snorlax, Screamtail, shenanigans. Did he already use a lot of super rod here? Screamtail and one super rod. Super rod and a hero escape. Dang, that's huge. And also we didn't find boss doors yet from the prizes. And that is kind of, we still have jet energies though. One jet energy here, one jet energy there. No, one jet energy in the discard pile, sure. Could still find a jet energy to get Snorlax out of harm's way. Because the four treat cost is kind of humongous. I wonder what they do right now. Do they go for Super Rod? So if they don't have Counter Catcher here, that would be great. Because this Snorlax is going to be a liability at one point. Even though I got rid of Luminion, they also got rid of the Grading Greninja for draw power. So they only have one Curlia. If we can go for Iono then. Maybe they don't they don't draw out of it. Counter catcher Snorlax. Hello. Chinchino. They didn't, didn't find Screamtail though. They didn't find Screamtail. Okay, fine. Fine. There's a Guardi EX on the horizon. We could give that a slap. Do they have already used boss doors there? Two counter catcher played already. And we still have jet energy left. So I think we can actually one shot. Now we cannot one shot. 60 damage is 250. We get to 210 with the Chinchinos. With Lugia, we can get to 180. A double turbo energy. Do not have boss. Do we give up? A two price or just this Pokemon here. They're probably gonna retreat, right? They're probably gonna retreat. Hmm. If we attack with Lugia, we can slap 180. They have the Drifloon, so we automatically get destroyed. Let's just put this guy over here. Hmm. Interesting. We don't have boss Zoras. That's like the main issue here. Uh, capturing Aroma. It is a Tails. We don't have... Any, yeah, we have Lugias, I suppose. Um, Jacques. Three energies left in that, including the Jet Energy. Okay. Capturing Aroma again. Is ahead this time. Let's get a Chinchino. Over here. And 
for the double turbo there. And go for an Iono. Let's go. Just want I don't want to get this guy getting trapped here. We have Master Ball. No jet energies quite yet, so it's fine. Special roll. If we had access to another boss, that would be like super easy to end this game. But we do not, because I don't expect them to find Turo from an Iono. They only have like refinement, that's where the fun ends. But our last boss of ours is in the prize cards. Would have been so nice if we would have been able to use Master Ball. Um, yeah, Luminion's also gone, but I would have saved Luminion's if boss was uh, in the deck and not in the prize cards. The last energy, is that a therapeutic? I think so. Turo! Believe it or not, they have Turo! Dang. They're gonna go for the Drift Loon, which is fine by me. That means the Screamtail is gonna be for later. Screamtail cannot one shot unless they have Hero Escape. They could put the Hero Escape onto Screamtail at one point. But we will Iono them again at this point. Yeah, the Balloon Blast coming. Here's the Jet. That's cool. Yeah, which Pokemon do we use to attack with? If we use the Chinchino here, we can one-shot. These are way better attackers, and they're probably gonna go after these. Otherwise, Snorlax could get trapped, and we don't have a way to get it out. So I think I'm gonna attack with Chinchino here. It's another gift. That's nice. So we put gift on here. And now we need to find Balsasaurus. So let's see here. Seven cards, we will draw most of them. We have the Iono here, so uh, I will Ultra Ball, get rid of this, get rid of this. Find Lugia V-Star. Use Master Ball, get Lugia. And then we Iono them to two cards. Actually, I should have, could have saved this energy. I could have used Gentle Slap, by the way, to knock him out. But <laughs> yeah, I could have used Gentle Slap here. But we have a Gift Energy on it, so it's it's the same thing. We just need Energy Boss. Boss. There we go. Okay, there's a Boss in deck. But if the Iono not... How many Ionos did they play already? Only one. Okay, I'm going to get Iono to one, which is bad. It is very bad. I own it to one, but I will draw with Gift. And that's only going to be four cards. And Boss will be on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Boss is now on the bottom of the deck. I need to have something that could withstand some. Okay, there's the Serena. Refinement. They, I probably should have... Yeah, they can now attack like with Gardevoir EX if they're able to find it. How many Ultra Balls played? Two. Okay, they're definitely gonna use Ultra Ball here. Dang, what? A they have Arvin, but they use Iono. They have another Curlia. Okay, they have literally their entire deck. Refinement again. Technically still with. Okay, the Luxurious Cave goes away. Guardi EX is here. And Balls is on the bottom of our deck, by the way. We There's nine cards. We draw six. And a draw of the turn. Come on, we need that boss. Okay, the screen tail is gonna be able to do it with hero escape. Uh, I think how much damage can they do? If they retreat, they have like all the energies, right? For yeah, the screen tail is gonna knock out our Lugia V Star in one shot. That's gonna be so ridiculous. Look at that go. 
120. 140 damage on that Screamtail. Look at him go! The Roaring Scream, well played. So, yeah, Lugia seemingly has still problems against Gardevoir, it seems. But I also was a turn that I was not able to attack and our boss Zorus was a little bit in the prize card. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the Lugia V-Star deck. If you enjoyed it, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many, many ways. Also, go check out the sponsors for today's video. There is DragonShield.com for your sleeves, binders and deck boxes. Use the coupon ZABLUS5 for 5% off. There's yourplaymat.com uh, where you can get 10% off when creating your own custom playmat. Definitely do so. And there's also potownstore.com for your TCG Live code card needs. If you want to buff up your TCG Live account, you can do so today with the coupon ZABLUS TCG over at potownstore.com. And cardmarket.com gets you covered if you're a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG action. Peace.